This is the placeholder intro. Just like the name Project Scorpio better be a placeholder. Uh, Chad, don't like that. I, I hate that name. It's it's such a dumb name. But anyways, welcome to the Plague Knights. Because, uh, you know, for my money, we're doing the Plague Knights. You know, I'm here. I got Chaz. He's a... Uh, Here's He's a question. Here's a good question for you. You see how they're kind of like flying in a counterclockwise position? Yeah. How long have they been doing that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I take it there's like no when real. You, you left the screen now, so th are they still doing that? Probably. But then again, we'll never know. It's like Schrodinger's cat in a way. I mean, like, not. Like, don't don't think about it too real, but like it's kind of like Schrodinger's cat. You'll never really know if the cat's there or not, or if it's alive or not. Right. Just don't do that to a real cat. No. I mean, Grant, I, I think Schrodinger did. Well, but, he's a weirdo. But I mean, the, dra the dragons—they could be. They might not be. Did because, I mean to get this philosophical? How, what kind of no. life is that? That you're just kind of going around in in a counterclockwise circle? Well, we don't know. They might not be. All right, they could be the, on a coffee break right now. <laughs> or they they could actually be doing uh, normal things, you know. Mi like, here's a question. Yeah. Like, do do they listen to Polar Knight? Because you know we're we're gonna see him. We're gonna be. Oh, once you kill Polar Knight. Yeah, but dude. here's the thing. So, are are we in this? Are we thinking that Polar Knight like like gives them orders like his minions, or do they have sentience like like people like? Can we have a conversation with them? Would, would that be a thing? Would that be a viable thing? Do they have the sentience and the the capabilities of ling linguistics? Are are they are they like pets? In which case, does does Polar Knight give them orders and they they obey? That's a very good question. So is this a philosophical episode? It's a placeholder episode. Well, I mean, is the is is so it's can both. I give it can I, can I give it a placeholder philosophical name? Yeah, call it like, um... Pro Project, uh, Schrodinger. Project Schrodinger. <laughs> That's a terrible name. Who would ever it's go It's better than that? Project Scorpio. No, it's not. It's on the same level, bro. Man, if I if I heard Project Schrodinger, I, w I would probably be like, that. I, I'm not funding this. They, they've, I'm, I'm taking my funding out of the project. Find, find a new, find a new benefit fishery person <laughs> there, there's no reason you you lost my funding out goodbye i was gonna say something about yeah yeah you know you know you, you know the um the british way to say counterclockwise is anti-clockwise I, I see i like that a lot better. i don't i think it's dumb well i mean see it, it's all ambiguous it's all about that opinion because some people like it but clearly, like, we have a difference. I like anti-clockwise, because, uh, to be honest, I think Gillum just has a thing about counterclockwise. It just sounds cooler. Well, I mean, in a way, it, it both of them work. They both it, of them like, portray it's like, the, uh... It's like, it's like creating an evil twin brother. Both of them portray the act that we're trying to get, get here, like... It's not going clockwise. Either it's going the counter way of clockwise, or it's anti-clockwise because it's doing the opposite of yeah. it. Yeah, and I mean, anti is pretty much like that. It's like, it's like Neo and New. Both mean the same thing, but the reality is, like, which sounds better? Well, obviously Neo because it's Neo Geo. <laughs> oh, I was gonna go with, like, you know, Neo because uh, Neo Shadows from Kingdom Hearts. Of course, I'm willing to bet... For my money, everyone would probably go with the Matrix, because let's be honest, Neo was badass. You know, like, he had to download a thing, and then it's like, whoa, I know Kung Fu. Excuse me, it's my, I have to say, BOOM! <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> ha! Hey, Beard Knight. You got something in your ears? <gasps> Wiggling. I should mention, uh, Polar Knight might get a recon, or a retcon. Hee <laughs> hee! You've likely figured out why I'm here, yes. I need something that you have. You know, I never liked you. Wizards, mask books, cheap tricks. 
You're nothing but a weakling. Wee! <laughs> How grumpy. Let's settle <laughs> this with a snowball fight. Hey, that sounds fun. So you want to know the secret to Polar Night? Um, I'm gonna guess the uh, the 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 smoke bomb. Oh, I mean that that's the idea. But if you flub it up like I have, uh, it's not gonna be much success, you know, because you'll never you'll never be able to keep up with the demand. You think you will, but it turns out that uh, it, it's not as good as you think it is. But hey, I did it. <laughs> Do you think if they ever, if they did make a Polar Night game, do you think I would you'd just buy be able? It. I'd be first in line. No, do hands you... down, I'm, a, I'm a get it. I, I don't care what the follow up question. I'm to just, it. I'm I just gonna, it. I'm just gonna say, do you think it, you'd be able to just to walk on spikes all the time yeah. like he does? Well, here's the problem. You see, Polar Knight, he has a shovel, right? And Shovel Knight, he has a shovel, right? Yeah. So how would it differ? How would it differ in? gameplay it's like it's like if you try to have black knight and like try to portray some sort of like strategy to his Polar gameplay knight doesn't cause... jump though well he, i mean he... the thing is like it had to be like proto man and mega man because while they both handle very similarly there's some minor differences like proto man he... i don't think he has nearly as much health but he does have that shield shield yeah oh all right, voice acting time. Are uh, those icicles I see on your mask? Are you all right? What happened? Polar night happened. And I wouldn't mind a tropical beach getaway right now, Mona. <laughs> you know, he, he brings up a good point. Let's let's do it. Plague, plague of shadows. Sunshine. So, oh my god, and then the the uh, the phantom plague knight, um, he comes by and you know paints the town with giant peas all oh, over the place. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And uh, Mono gets kidnapped, and uh, the phantom by, plague knight is like, is like leave, mama. leave mama alone. I'm your mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, but but who's the big baddie? Um, whoever the big baddie of this game is. Oh, well, uh... We'll find out who that anyways, is. Anyways, perhaps when this is all over. Dot, 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 dot. But let's focus. We're almost ready. Anyways, so yeah, you know, now, now it's time to buy the things. You want the frost first? Fine, I'll get the frost first. You were like, buy the blue thing. I bought the blue thing. Thanks. Buy the other blue thing. I bought the other blue thing. Now you, you can't see. buy any more blue things. No, but uh, let's see. What's most? Ex you know what? Let's get the giant pink Magetta thing. Uh, I was just gonna say, yeah, get that. And then let, let's go from most expensive to least expensive. There we go. Cascade powder. Oh man. <laughs> so I, I got some more things. I got some more float case. Completely not my style. I don't like it. Well, that goes straight up in the sky. Yeah. It's uh, kind of I mean, dumb. I find lob case is a lot better. I guess float case has more usage if you need to do an upward thing. I don't like it at all. Uh, I, I don't really care too much. Cascade powder. Oh, okay. This is another thing the boss of uh, the boss Plague Knight thing would do. You know. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Uh, still, still more of a cluster power type of guy. That's my gameplay style. Uh, now we got the bullet burst. Uh, th this one's all right. You see, you just like you just you just fire a, a bullet as you jump. It's, it's all right. I like the float better. It's it's more of the safety. Um, so yeah, this Ooh. one it, it does it does that. You know, we we saw that. We kind of saw that. So. It looks okay. It looks okay. Um, I'm still going with float because I like the safety with it. And so the bass is going to give us the things. And then, uh... They swiped it. Yeah, you know, because uh, that's what he does. Uh, there is no stopping bass from swiping. Okay, uh, so... 
Oh, oh, we get, we get some, we get some love advice. We get some romance Ooh, advice. Everybody let's see it. Some romance advice. Some romance tips from Sub Hussama. All right, let's hear it. Love can easily be distilled. It, uh, it all comes down to having the proper chemistry. How does this musk melon have any luck with romance? <laughs> <laughs> my friend, you look well, but my research is... Yeah, okay, you need more paper? I... I don't need to give you more paper. Look, how... How's that gonna help me get... Get my shield knight? It's not. Um, that will definitely help you get shield knight. What, the... Distilling the love? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I got... What I got did you just buy? Power. Got a new power. So this one's this one's a little interesting. I, I guess you can find some use. I got all the powders, by the way. Sparkling powder. Yeah. Okay. You see that? Maybe I maybe I should pick a different few so you can kind of get a better. So the sparkling powder doesn't actually hurt anything upon exploding because it doesn't really explode. But you see how it just kind of has sparks. Yeah. What the sparks that's what do? That's why it hurts. The sparks hurt. I'm not a fan of it. And it's it's okay. I mean, it's not like it's not like oh my god. It's just kind of like it is what it is. Uh, before we move on to the next level, because we we probably got to move on, you know, fight something. Um, I wanna I wanna unlock a thing. What thing? Uh, before I get into it. So, there is something you can do with Oolong here, you see. Uh-huh. What we gotta do is we gotta... We gotta do that, you see. We can... We can make him we, burp? Yeah, we can make him burp, you know. He, uh, Yeah, you know, so... Uh, we're just... We're, we're just gonna experiment a little uh, bit. Just the powders. Yeah, just the powders. That's really... That's really all there is to it. Whoa! Ho, ho. Did you know that? Did you know about that? No. Did I you? Know... No. Well, I mean, maybe I did. I guess it's all irrelevant <laughs> now. So you just gotta make them burp all the powders. Yeah. Let's give them some tracer powder. So and normally this is where you get an achievement, but I guess I I don't I don't get it. It's fine. Oh, you were just going for a trophy. Yeah, well I mean this is where you get like achievement. It's like poor oolong and it's basically just doing that. Anyways, I'm enough wasting time, enough fucking around, let's get to it. Uh cause y'all wanna Oh, you should do the, uh, uh, I guess, I oh, guess this Black is where Knight. we do the thing. We gotta fight the Black Knight. Oh, no, we got plot. Oh, oh, no. Ready for the okay, all right, oh. I gotta get in the zone. Are you ready? Or I'm, 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 I'm ready. Oh, is this a rendezvous? This is all getting too risky. I can't lose him. I'll reward you however you want. Just do this for me. Do you remember Black Knight? You gave him like a wimpy voice, right? No, you gave him a wimpy voice. What toad, do I sound? Remember? Channel oh, he's your toad? Inner toad. Yeah, channel All right, your I got it. I got it. Or did the screen freeze and I can't read it actually? No, it's it's here. Because all all I see is Mona's text. What? Why would you help that? This lunatic sees power in Beguile the Magicist. What's in it for you? Magicist, are you kidding me? You're just trying to talk up your asking price. Then there's nothing out of the matter. I can't be bought at any price. Oh, that was that was the best. That that was great A right there. <clears throat> what are you doing? What are you two doing here? So, the Magistus, huh? What, what, what about her? Is she okay? Let me ask you something, Plague Knight. 
Where do I fit in your big plans? Are we partners? Are we more? Wait. I... 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 <laughs> Look at him! Buster can't even find me in response! <laughs> what a wimp! This whole time, I thought we were in this together. I was just a tool to you. I need some time to think about all this. No. No, what was her problem? At least you think your problems end here and continue to threaten the enchantress. Prepare to taste steel! Oh man, that that was a heavy load right there. There was a lot of squeaking. Except on Mona's part, I mean, you know, she's <laughs> she's kind of, dude, she's jealous. She is jealous. She, because you know she she's under the she's under the impression that you know we're we're in league with the Machan the Magisus, you know, with her with her very alluring voice, obviously, but <laughs> the Magisus uh, voice. Well, I mean, you, you can't beat it. It's the stuff of legends, you know. Uh, I, I, I can't deny, even I would be tempted by the Magistus and beguiled by her, uh, her He her, just started to laugh at you. And then you just, like, threw a thing at him. What an idiot. <laughs> he can't, he can't deal with it. He can't deal with it. He can't deal with it. It's too, too good. Too good. And she just runs away. Oh, absolutely. Mona's gone! Yeah, well, she had to go think of it. Mona? Where did she run off to? Oh, Mona. Whoa! Percy on deck! <laughs> That's me, bro! I stole your line. You stole my line! Whoa! Pussy on deck. Well, you skipped oh. my line. Well, I didn't. That was automatic. Oh. That that uh. time was automatic. I did not skip your line. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. I, I want I want you to know. Sorry, the sorry for accusing you. <laughs> I love riding that thing. Hey, Mona was in a hurry, gathered some things and took off. She, is she ill? Well, no matter. Rain or shine, Percy will fill in as needed. Is you know. she really gone? Wow, that, that was good. That was like... Devastation, you know what I mean? We can dance in here now. Yeah. So, uh, per Percy will play as, uh, Ar Armona now. Um, not, not as attractive, but at the same time, you know, Does he, he is master Does he still buy music Roman. notes? Uh, yeah, so the- see, the thing is, we just- all we gotta do is just move on over here, and then, lo and behold, Percy, he hoofs it all the way over, and then BAM! <laughs> he ran so fast. Oh, absolutely, he's got two rolls to fill now. He's a horse, so, I mean... <laughs> a horse, of course. So what did you just buy? Uh, I don't know. It's some sort of fuse. It doesn't matter. Point is, um, now we gotta do one of these levels, but not now, because in the next part, we're gonna go in the airs, or we're gonna go in a clock tower. One of the two. Mm -hmm. uh, you better be prepared. Prepare for trouble. And hopefully there won't be any technical difficulties. Yes. <laughs> 